Welcome to PE 100 Module 5. In this module, we're going to move into methods of delivery, but to give you a little bit of insight on what methods of delivery is all about is we're now, we've gone through the major four points of communication, nonverbal, verbal, written, and electronic. And now we're sitting there looking at the fringes of our social media, our blogs, our texting, and all that. And those really determine the methods of delivery, how well we're able to use the different forms of electronic and written formats for the purposes that we're intended to, to use it for. So the 21st century has brought us many new opportunities to communicate in our new in our everyday life and many of us are using Facebook as a means of uh, maintaining a social presence for yourself and perhaps your family and on top of that we have special interests that we may use Twitter or Snapchat or various other um, services that are out there to maintain our presence in today's society and this is all very normal. This is part of living in the 21st century. And then of course we maintain our personal emails separately from our corporate identities and we try and make that distinction fairly clear so that you're entitled to have a, a personal life that is confidential to whatever level you want to keep that as. And then your corporate life is a completely separate entity based on your performance at work. The real question is what practices you use in maintaining all these communication paths so that you establish a safe and secure environment for, for your family and yourself as well, along with completing your work functions on the highest level of professionalism possible. So it's really we've got all these various things that are out there and are we using them properly to maintain our safety and security and show our presence in both our personal life and our professional lives. Um, this module of study is going to address the complexities of modern society and how you can best balance all these new technologies um, and all the advances that we're making in communication to the best interest of yourself and your career. And while we don't really think about how large the spectrum of communication has become, we are at least, um, we're pretty familiar with at least three or four media services that we're using on our, for ourselves on a regular basis. And so we've kind of picked the best place to start is looking at a flowchart of the available communication networks that we are currently using in some form or fashion. Um, in our own lives. So in this one graphics here, graphic here, you can see all these millions of names or hundreds of names sitting up here. Shoutwire, Standpoint, Social, Blogbeat, FeedTier, and all these different, these are all different services that are trying to squeeze into the electronic communication market of the 21st century. And to be honest with you, I picked this this um, one graphic only because it was from overseas. And so we can see tons and tons of names overseas that we don't even know of in the United States. However, they're doing exactly what a lot of our United States companies are doing as well. So there's not a shortage of social and um, business networks that are out there today and um, when we get into it we start making um, we start we're able to start making decisions as to which are the most effective means of us maintaining our personal and our professional images in this new 21st century uh, dynamic um, we can also see a little bit more accurate picture of the sites that we're using. This is more of a United States view at it. And you can see the typical Facebook and Google here in the center, which has become kind of the central point for a, a lot of stuff that we're doing. And you could replace Facebook um, 
with another type of service, be it Yahoo or there's so many out there. But but the point is, is that your social media? And you'll see mainly your wife and your children using it quite a bit. And your friends, it's a great way to keep up with friends over a period of time. However, it really has very little application usage in a business environment. But as we branch out from here, we can see that we have all these different types of services. If we want to share some things, we can do it via YouTube or Flickr. Um, one of the ones I use quite a bit is um, Picasa, which is a beautiful little photo library. Um, then we have, of course, our commerce sites, which we're using Amazon, I would think, for a lot of you guys, as well as, you know, your typical uh, vendor spots, Home Depot. Uh, I actually buy a lot of groceries that way. It makes it a lot easier. And living up in the mountains, it's easier to buy it from, from a source that just delivers it versus me having to drive down to the supermarket 30 miles away. So you can see that we have all these different services around us that are basically available. Most of these are free to use. Um, based on them using more of an ad basis as their revenue streams. But you got to, you know, pick which ones of these really should be in a business environment and which ones don't really um, fit within that genre. And then when we really fine tune this and we get down to looking at the overall picture of yourself in all this electronic communication, you can see that the conversation, which is what we're interested in, whatever it is you're creating in the form of communication, becomes the conversation. And then you can just see the many different ways we can do it. We can do live casting using video and audio. We can do it with pictures up here. We have our social bookmarks. Um, here's some other things, comments and reputations. Um, there's just so many different things here. And then we get into the blogs over here, which we'll talk about at much greater length. And then you move into SMS and voice, which is your texting and those type of things. Social network we've already talked about with Facebook. But really what you're trying to do is get this wheel to where it balances around you and does the things that you need it for it to do safely and securely and not get lost in the thousands and thousands of them. Pick the ones that work for you and, and pretty much stay with them until something really comes in and changes the market. And you also, now that we're living in the 21st century, we have to come to the realization that we're going to be changing software platforms probably every two or three years. You know, what may have been really, really um, fantastic for us five years ago, you might not even see around any longer. And the same is going to be true for where you're at. So it's really understanding the purpose of it and what you're trying to accomplish with it that's the important aspect of these things and the knowledge of how well to use them the hard skills as far as how you click this button to do that is really that it's a, only a hard skill so it's just a matter of sitting down using it for a period of time until you um, develop your hard skills and your soft skills should already be in place, so you're just continuing with all the, the overall skills you need and just having to relearn how you go about accomplishing something within one software platform form versus another. So um, that pretty much gets us into the concept of networks and how many different types of networks are out there that truly compose the um, entire subject of communication. So we're going to move into um, a few, uh, we're actually going to identify some specific areas such as your Facebook, your blogs, and your texting as we go along. So we'll go ahead and move to uh, chapter two.